If you are considering going to college or university and hoping to play on the soccer team, I want to help you increase your chances of doing that. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a nine step process that's going to massively increase your chances of getting on the team and potentially getting a scholarship. So whether you get a full scholarship, a partial scholarship or no scholarship, being involved in a college soccer team is a great experience. You're also going to get an education out of it and it's going to help you take positive steps towards a better future for yourself. Step number one, get your game up. Improve yourself, become a better player. You are about to take a big step. You're going from youth soccer to college or university level soccer, and it is going to be an increase in quality. The players are gonna be faster, stronger, bigger, they're gonna be smarter, more experienced. If you're going in as a freshman, maybe 18 years old, you may be even playing against some guys who are 24, 25 years old at the end of their university career. The coach is gonna expect more of you. The season is gonna be more demanding. Now don't be scared by this. Be excited about this new challenge. It's gonna force you to become a better player. So work to improve yourself and prepare for this new challenge. If you think you're good enough, that's fantastic, but I challenge you to eliminate that mentality. Don't be satisfied with good enough. Strive to be the best you possibly can. Step number two, get the best grades you possibly can coming out of high school. Academics matter and they may sway a coach's decision in putting you on the team. It is easier to get you into a school if you have good grades. If you are good enough and they really want you and your grades aren't the best, sometimes they can make things happen and still get you into the school. However, if you want to increase your chances and you want to make it easier on yourself, strive to have the best grades you possibly can. If you do that, it's going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to applying to schools, earning scholarships, and getting on the team. Step number three, start working on that CV resume and highlight video as soon as possible. If you want coaches to take you seriously and give you an opportunity, they need to actually know what you're all about. If you're contacting a coach, asking for a tryout, asking to come to an IV camp, and he's never seen you play, why would he give you a chance? So that match footage highlight video is so important. Get your games recorded as often as possible and try to make the best video you possibly can, improving on it every single year. The resume should be short and sweet, just capturing your academic achievements and your playing history. However old you are, you want to be playing at the highest level available to you. Not only is it going to force you to become a better player, you're going to get better coaching, but you're going to get more exposure. Hopefully you're playing in a top league, maybe you're going to playoffs, you're going to provincials or even national level events, you're going to showcase tournaments, and there are actually coaches from colleges and scouts from universities that come to these events and contact players and give out letters of invitations and potential scholarships. So you want to be getting as much exposure as possible by playing at the highest level available to you. So far you've built a great foundation for increasing your chances of getting on a college team and potentially earning a college scholarship. You're improving yourself, you're getting the best grades possible, you're working on that highlight video and your resume, and you're playing at the highest level available to you. Now I want you to start thinking about which schools you would like to attend. So make a list of all the potential schools you would possibly like to play for. They can be close to you, they can be further away. Going away for university, I think it's a great experience because it forces you to grow up quickly. It forces you to become a man or a woman because you don't have your parents looking after you, providing for you, making decisions for you. You're gonna have to take care of yourself. So I think it's a great idea to go away for college. Now saying that, it's up to you. You make decisions for yourself, this is your life. So make a list of all the schools you would potentially like to attend because you're going to contact those schools shortly. Step number six, I want you to take that list and now you're going to do research on these universities and contact 
the schools if possible. So go to the website of that specific university or college and look on the website for the sports team and usually they'll have information about the soccer team, men's soccer team, women's soccer team, and even provide information about tryout dates or ID camps. Also, they should have links to the coaching staff, hopefully head coach, assistant coach, scouting department, whatever it may be. You want to get that information and you want to start contacting as many schools as possible to let them know that you're interested and you want to come and be a part of their program. So when you're contacting them, you need to include that resume, you need to include that highlight video, so important, and you just wanna keep your email short and sweet, telling them who you are, why you would like to come to their school, and asking for an opportunity to come and show that you're good enough to get on the team and potentially earn that scholarship. Step number seven, you're gonna start applying to these schools. So realize applying to a school doesn't mean that you're locked in. You can apply, get accepted, and then choose to go somewhere else. You don't have to enroll, you don't have to spend money, but you can get accepted, and then if you get an offer from a different school or a better opportunity, you can go somewhere else. But it's a good idea to start applying to these schools to see if you can actually get in based on your grades, based on your academics, and also based on the faculty that you want to get into. Now saying that, if you really want to go to the school and the coach told you to come to the tryout and your grades aren't the best, go to that tryout and maybe you can work something out. So let's go back to step six. You contacted all the schools. Some of them gave you feedback. Maybe they told you when the open tryout is. Maybe the coach said, hey, I really like your video. I'd love you to come out to an ID camp. You want to start applying to those specific schools. So you have this big list, now you're narrowing, narrowing it down a bit and you're getting a better idea of where you potentially be going. You've built the foundation, you started to take positive action, contacting schools, talking to coaches, doing the research. Now it's time to just get out there and kill it. Now you wanna attend those tryouts and those ID camps. So get that list, put it on your calendar. When is the date? start preparing for that date because it's coming soon and you don't want to show up at this big tryout big new opportunity playing at a higher level and you're not fully fit or your skills aren't the way you want them to be or you're not confident in yourself so start getting motivated and put those dates on your calendar you may be going to five different tryouts and that's fantastic the more you can do the better obviously you're gonna to have to think about the budget the traveling cost and all these different things but the more tryouts you can go to, the more camps you can attend, the more exposure you're gonna get, the more experience you're gonna get, and you're also gonna get a better idea of which team and which coach might be best for you. Step number nine, the final step. Go to the tryout, be confident in yourself, and kill it. Okay, you've done all the hard work, you've gotten yourself the opportunity, now it's just time to perform. So if you really want to do your best, you want to impress your coaches, what I want you to do is go and watch this video on soccer tryout preparation. I made it a few weeks ago. It's a really in-depth training video and it's actually going to tell you exactly what you should be doing to make sure that you're totally prepared, 100% confident in yourself and excited to give your best and really impress the coaches at the tryout. If you're serious about going to college or university, you want to get on the team and you want to get a scholarship, you need to take action. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, get your game up. Remember, the level is going to be higher and you're going to have to become better. Number two, have the best grades you possibly can coming out of high school. Academics are important and they will increase your chances of getting into a good school. Number three, build your CV resume and highlight video. I'll make a detailed video about exactly how to do this in the near future. In the meantime, start getting as much match footage as you can so you can make a great highlight video to send to coaches. Number four, play at the highest level available to you. Once you get into these higher leagues, you start playing at maybe the state or national level, then you're going to get exposure and coaches are actually coming and looking for players. Number five, make a list of all the schools you'd like to attend. Number six, do the research and contact those schools. Go to the website, try to find the coach's email, send him your CV resume and send him your player highlight video. There may also be information about tryout dates on the website. Number seven, apply to those schools. If you get 
feedback from coaches saying, yes, I'd love you to come try out, or yes, I'd love you to be a part of our program, then apply to those specific schools. Also, you can start applying for other scholarships. So there are academic scholarships available, and it's usually just a certain number of scholarships that they give out, but you actually have to apply for them. So look on the website for information about applying for additional scholarships. Number eight, attend the camps, tryouts, and open training sessions. Remember, put those dates on your calendar and start preparing. Number nine, be confident in yourself. You've done all the hard work. Now it's time to impress the coach. And if you really want to prepare for this, watch my tryout video that I made recently. I'll put a link in the description of this video, and that will help you prepare so you can give your best performance. Thanks for